what's up everybody? It is me again, Ryan, your uh, wonderful host for Dinner and a Monster. Uh, first of all, I want to say that, yay, I have 48 viewers or subscribers, subscribers so far. <laughs> uh, so that's awesome, so thank you. Um, keep sharing this and keep getting more subscribers and all that fun stuff so that I can be like all those other fancy YouTubers because, I mean, we all have to start small, but come on. I'm pretty awesome. Sorry, excuse me, I just ate dinner. Um, also, I meant to do this show yesterday and post it and everything, but my nieces were still at my house. And I'm, as you can tell from the sniffles, I'm not feeling great. So I was like, well, I'm going to drink some orange juice and I'm going to eat dinner. I'm going to, you know, I'll do all this stuff and then I'll feel better and I'll do the, the thing. So I'm not feeling great, um, but I do feel better than I did earlier. Um, and I feel better than I did yesterday. But again, I was, in, I was interrupted like five times yesterday when I was trying to do... Um, this episode. <laughs> so I finally said the heck with it. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. By the way, the reason I look like heck today is because this is right after work. Uh, well, not right after work. Um, I ate, like say, I ate dinner and stuff. Because, again, not feeling well. But anyway, uh, so before I go any further with this, again, like, subscribe, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, it really does help me out a lot and I really am very extremely appreciative for it and I'm not one to beg but please 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 subscribe um I want to get started you know <clears throat> anyway so today's episode is about a movie that I actually saw yesterday I think or no I saw it Saturday um because I was off that day but I couldn't do the show Saturday because it was just <clears throat> utter chaos at my house um so the movie that I saw is on Netflix uh, it was actually recently put on Netflix, um, cause I hadn't seen it and then Saturday I was slipping through and I was like, oh, hey, cause see, one thing I was worried about is what if I, you know, run out of movies to, to review for you guys. And then it was like, boo, here you go, here's a movie for you to review. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, so the movie is 2017's, uh, The Super, as in, I guess, Superintendent. Um, I guess that's the word. No. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, brain fart. It's, again, not feeling great. But anyway, uh, the movie has Val Kilmer in it, and I actually did write notes, which I think I've probably lost by now. Oh, nope, there they are. Uh, <clears throat> I wrote notes because I had a feeling I wasn't going to be able to do the show on Saturday just because of whatever everything was going on. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to write notes. That way I know where I'm going. All right, so like I said, Val Kilmer's in this movie, and I haven't seen him since um, Mind Hunter, I believe is the name of it, which is another great film um, that maybe I'll cover on an episode of Dinner Monster Rewind. But right now, we're going to cover this one. Okay, so what the super is roughly about, <clears throat> excuse me, is a single dad with two daughters, uh, Violet and Rose, which I think is funny because I ended up watching another movie later that day that had another girl named Rose in it, and my middle niece, uh, next to the youngest is named Rose, so I thought that was kind of funny. Um, but anyway, uh, it's about a single dad who has two daughters, Violet and Rose, and his wife is deceased. She died in a house fire. And so, <clears throat> he takes a job as, um, a super in a, or he's an assistant super, I guess, in a, an apartment complex that is for, what, what I gather, it's for lower income families and lower income people. Um, because the guy who hires him kind of makes a mention of similar things to that. Alright, so, um, the, some of the main characters, so Violet and Rose are the two main female characters. Um, then there's Phil, who is the single father, Walter, who is Val Kilmer's character, and a guy named Julio, who is the one that's going to kind of show Phil around and give him, you know, show him how everything works. <laughs> There's also the guy who manages the apartment complex, and I'm going to be honest with you, to save my life, I cannot remember the name of him, or remember his name. Alright, this is what I have to tell you, okay? And I know a lot of times I do movies on here, and I tell you how badly they suck, or I tell you how good they are, but I never really give you... Okay, let me just put it this way. Holy crap, this movie is scary, okay? I am not someone who's easily scared in a horror film. Like, everybody has different things to scare them. Everybody has different levels of fear. What might scare me may not scare you. But, 
this movie has a definite element uh, of, of fear to it, definitely. For example, at the very beginning of the film, uh, you have a, a, um, a woman coming home to that, to that apartment and she has a quadriplegic brother. Now, I don't recall if it said what caused him to be a quadriplegic or not, but uh, he is confined to a bed. It doesn't seem like he, he he's, he's cognitive, like he can understand what, what's being said to him and so forth, but he, he can only really respond for the most part with his eyes and a little bit of movement, uh, but not much. And so, uh, his sister goes in there and she puts on a, a record um, that he likes to hear, which is Beautiful Dreamer, which is one of my favorite songs. And the record, like somebody scoops the, the needle off of the record. And so she comes back in and he's trying to tell her something and he keeps looking towards the closet door and he actually does that uh, before she comes in the room and stuff like that. And the closet door is slightly open. Um, all right, so here's the thing. One of my biggest fears, because I've had sleep paralysis before, and for you, you, those of you who don't know what sleep paralysis is, it's almost like, in a way, it's like night terrors, because I, I used to have night terrors a lot when I was a kid, and night terrors are actually what can cause you to sleepwalk. But it is where you are, you're asleep, and you're dreaming, but you know that you're dreaming. Um but it's so realistic and you cannot wake up from the dream. Um, I've had quite a few times where I'm telling myself, Ryan, wake up, wake up, you're dreaming because I'm having a nightmare. Uh, or that's, that's sort of what a night terror is. Night terrors are very realistic. Sometimes you either dream that you woke up or again, you are very, uh, you, you know completely that you are in a dream and that's what makes it scarier. So sleep paralysis where you can't move, you're having a nightmare and you can't move. Um, it's like being scared stiff basically but your sleep. So um, that's kind of a big fear for me. So to have this, this, this young man who is a quadriplegic stuck in a bed and something is in that closet and he can see it, but he can't save himself. He can't do anything about it. He can't tell anybody. That's terrifying to me to be absolutely just helpless. And so that's the opening. The first Seven minutes, I guess you'd say. I didn't really time it, but the first few minutes of the movie, you are on the edge of your seat already. You are scared. And then you get the calm because you meet Phil and you meet Violet and you meet Rose. And everything seems to be, you know, a little calmer, a little better, and you're not so scared anymore. But then Mrs. Gray, the elderly woman in one of the other apartments, she passes away. Um, and it's, it's, very, it's a very tense movie, but it's not a bad movie. They actually say that you burn more calories watching horror movies than you do any other kind of movie. So, this one will definitely burn some calories. Alright, there is another female in this film who Phil seems to take a little bit of a liking to. I apologize again, I forgot her name. Uh, I, I didn't write it down in the notes. I almost want to say it's Beverly, but I wouldn't quote me on that, but for some reason that name sticks out. Uh, this is a very suspenseful film. Val Kilmer does an awesome job. He doesn't even... You start to forget <laughs> that he is, you know, Doc Holliday from Tombstone or uh, Batman from that atrocious version or, uh, what's the, uh, what else? Uh, he's in so many movies. Uh, Iceman from Top Gun, which, don't shoot me, but I've never seen Top Gun. I know, I know, child of the 80s, never saw Top Gun. It, it just wasn't my thing. Uh, I wasn't really a Tom Cruise fan when I was a kid, so... Um, and, uh, real, what's his name? I forget the character's name from Real Genius, but Real Genius and Top Secret. If you ever want to see two really great old Val Kilmer movies, Top Secret and, um, Young, uh, and Real Genius are it's right on top. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so he plays this gentleman whom I'm, I couldn't quite tell what heritage he was portraying. Um, his accent was very muddled. Um, but he also mumbled, so I don't even want to guess what it was, um, because I don't want to be like, oh, it's this, and then someone gets offended and whatever. But anyway, so yeah, so he is from a different country, and, uh, he has, like, this weird shrine, and he has these pictures of children up by the furnace, and the furnace is, like, from 1920-something, super old furnace, and, uh, it's his character is very, very creepy. Like, like again, 
very much not what you're used to from Val Kilmer, and I apologize. My throat keeps getting dry. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, very much not like him. Then there's Julio. Julio is, uh, and this, by the way, takes place in New York, but Julio is, again, the one that's kind of showing him the ropes and everything like that. Um, he's got two kids, he's got a wife, but that doesn't seem to stop him, if you know what I mean. Like, he's always flirting with these girls and always kind of, like, looking at them and eyeing them, all that stuff. So, um, <clears throat> I don't want to give anything away because this one I actually do want you guys to see. I don't want to do, I know sometimes I'll be like, spoiler alert, this is what happens. But I don't want to do that this time because this movie was so... I want you to watch it. I want you to... This is one of those movies that just takes a sharp left turn all of a sudden. Like, you're sitting there, and you're like, Oh, I got this figured out. Oh, what? I don't have this figured out? Now, there are, is a part, there's a portion of it that I did figure out. Um, and I was discussing it with my niece, Lily, and I said, Oh, yeah, I got this part figured out. But again, I've watched a lot of horror movies over the years, so I'm pretty familiar with the the horror movie tropes and, and the cliches and and horror movies a lot of times are very predictable nowadays. Now this one, again, maybe people won't get it and that's perfectly fine. My my mom and my aunt, they didn't, they didn't get it at first until it came around. Pay attention to the little things in this movie. If you pay attention to the background, if you pay attention to what people say, specifically how they say it and what they're referring to, you will figure this movie out because they dropped hints like bombs but oops sorry hit my mic but if you're just watching it for the entertainment per portion of it and you're not trying to figure it out you'll miss it completely which is not a bad thing that's actually a good thing because i was a little disappointed that i was right because it did take one sharp left turn but then the thing that i was like oh well i've got this part figured out i was correct but they did it beautifully so watch this movie all the way through uh, and, and don't think about it. I mean, like I said, if you want the surprise, don't think about it. If you do want to try and figure it out for yourself, again, just listen to what they say, how they say it, and whom to, uh, to whom they're referring. And you will have it figured out. Well, you won't have all of it figured out. You'll have some of it figured out. Because again, left turn, you're just kind of like, what did I just watch? So uh, anyway, but the movie is called The Super, and it's from 2017, and it has Val Kilmer in it, which, again, he was the only actor I really recognized. Uh, but this movie is, is phenomenal. And watch it in the dark, watch it at night, you will appreciate this movie. Um, watch it today. Seriously, as, as soon as this video ends, I want you guys to go on Netflix. I want you to find this movie, and I want you to watch it, and I want you to be scared poopless. I, I'm serious. Uh, so yeah, so that's basically it. Um, go watch that movie. You're not going to be disappointed. Uh, I actually posted it up on a Facebook group that everybody needs to go see this movie. And the people that had seen it were super like, yeah, this is a great movie. And then there were a few people were like, holy crap, I'm going to go see that right now. Or I'm going to see that tonight. Go see it. Don't waste time. Like I said, as soon as this video is over and it, my credits roll, I want you to go to, no to, go to Netflix and look up The Super. Alright guys, I'm counting on you. And uh, I'm going to do another video this week to make up for me not doing one last week. Because again, I just it's been crazy. So um, I will probably do one on Thursday and post it up Thursday. Or I'll do it Wednesday and post it up Thursday. Something like that. So I will check you guys out next time. And I hope you have a great day. And again, horror my page out. I appreciate it. I really do. Talk to you later.